What's some of the next projects that you're coming up with musically? Um, I actually have an EP coming out July 1st uh, called This Is A Love Story. Um, it's seven tracks on the EP and it's just gonna be about me. Like it's gonna be about the journey of love. Um, it's gonna be a little different from what people usually hear, um, but it's gonna be dope. So I'm excited to everybody to hear it. Yeah, definitely got to be there for that. You got to let us know. We pull up, do a second interview. Yes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You you give me like India Ari, uh, Erica Badu type vibe. Yeah, I actually grew up off India Ari and Erica Badu. Yeah. Neo Soul. That's the, that's the foundation of who I am, like soul. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. What do you feel like you can bring to the music industry? Um, just authentic, just an authentic sound, um, and just being myself, like, I don't know, like, I just, it's not really no rules to being an artist, like, you could do whatever you want to do, you could be whatever you want to be, so I feel like I just bring the authentic, the realness to, like, music, because music is not real anymore. You could say that again. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Say it. Matter of fact, say it again. <laughs> I feel like I will bring the realness to music. Music is not real anymore. It's not authentic. You know, everybody trying to do the same thing. I want to I wanna be in my own lane. Most definitely. Most definitely. Favorite junk food? Favorite junk food? I'm not really a big junk food eater, but my favorite junk food... Um... Ah... <sighs> I was a big hot Cheeto girl when I was in high school. <laughs> I liked hot Cheetos. Um, I don't too much eat it anymore, but I don't really eat junk food like that no more. Yeah, yeah. See, but I used to, I used to love hot Cheetos. I eat the hot Cheeto puffs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh the che Cheeto puff school too. It go crazy. Yeah, but I used to love the hot Cheetos. I used to eat a couple bags. Man. What's something that you're addicted to? <sighs> addicted to. Uh, I don't know. I would say, dang, that's a good question. That's a good question. I do like burrito tacos. I am addicted to burrito tacos. I could eat that. I could eat that a few times a week. That with a margarita. Ooh, that's my favorite thing. I love that. I love that. Me and my girls, we go get Maria tacos like every other week. Yep, can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> What's your favorite song that you've made so far? Um, I got a song called We Won. I haven't dropped it yet, but it's it's the finale. Like it's the final song on my EP that like puts the cherry on top. And that's like my favorite song of all time. So that's, that's, that song gonna be a hit. Okay, when are you gonna release that one? Uh, July 1st. July it's gonna, 1st. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. on my EP. So I'm releasing it on July 1st. Okay. Which do you like better, being an entrepreneur with your styling uh -huh. or an artist? Um. Of course I like being an artist more, but I mean like being a stylist, it, I mean, it feeds me. So I take pride in it. Um, even though I don't want to do it forever, uh, I, I feel like they come hand in hand. Like I'm here more than I'm at home. Like this is where I get ready for my shows. Like I do everything here. Only, I only go home to sleep. So uh, it's like my second home. So. They, they come hand in hand. I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could be the best artist I can if I wasn't a hairstylist. Okay. Yeah. So it kind of yeah, it goes hand in hand. For yeah. Sure, for sure. What would you say? Do you feel like you get the support that you deserve within your own city? Um. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like I get support from the people who matter to me. <laughs> I mean, like, 
I don't know. Like I can't, I can't please everybody. You can't be everybody cup of tea. So, I mean, my people, my family, they support me, my friends support me. So I feel like that's enough for me. Like I like what I do more than anything. So I don't know. I don't really be looking for everybody else to like it. But um, I mean, I feel like I was at a point where I felt like nobody supported me, but I only been doing music for a year. So this is just the beginning, you know, people going to fall in line when, you know, the more time I put in. Most definitely, most definitely. Favorite designer brand? Favorite designer brand? You know, I'm not really materialistic. I don't think I have one, but you know what? I, my favorite is, I feel like, um, I look at a lot of Rick Owens shoes though. I like Rick Owens. So, uh, but I'm not really super materialistic. Like I'm a thrifter, like I thrift clothes. And so some of the best clothes. Is yeah. And, clothes. and I try to support like my friends. Um, I have a lot of, uh, friends who design clothes. So uh, I try to just support the people around me before I really spend money like outside of, you know, my community. Keep it in house. Yeah. For sure, for sure.